Hey, welcome to Foulcraft. I'm Hammy, hope you're one good. Happy Heroes of the Storm launch, and in today's Heroes Half Hour, we're going to take a quick look at the brand new launch hero, Joe Anna, from the Diablo universe, going to be a melee warrior. So, very much looking forward to that. Joe is a crusader. Um, and as you can see from the lore text, the Crusader, of course, was the new class in Diablo, a Reaper of Souls, very, very recently. Uh, gets in a melee range, throws around a bunch of spells, can heal, can DPS. It's a whole bunch of fun. So we're going to do what we always do in our quick play and learn. We're going to have a look at Joanna, try and understand her a bit from a new player perspective, how she might play, take her into try mode and show off a few of her abilities. So without further ado, let's jump on it. So Joanna is rated as easy. Now, if you're a new player to Heroes of the Storm, we've just picked up the game. A melee warrior um, is a character who fights. A crusade doesn't call, indeed call us my friend. So a melee warrior gets in close and fights, broadly speaking, with weapons, things that you swing, axes, swords, shields, all of this kind of stuff. So you are going to be fighting and dealing with enemies, whether that's minions controlled by the computer uh, or enemy heroes, enemy players, you're going to be dealing with them at pretty close range. Now, the difficulty level of a hero is a little rough idea of how hard they'll be to pick up and play. Harder heroes might die more quickly, for example, is a very broad generalisation. Harder heroes, they're rated hard or very hard, they might require more movement, they might move more slowly, meaning that it's easier for you to get out of position, easier for you to get into trouble. So, if you're brand new to Heroes of the Storm, do by all means go for the free-to-play Heroes of the Week, but maybe try and grab some of the easy heroes until you get a hang of it. So, there we go. Let's have a look at Joanna. Um, Crusade calls us, my friend. First ability is Punish on Q, so an AoE ability, Area of Effect means that it'll cast in an area, and it is 48 damage and slows enemies by 60%, and then that decays, and that means it sort of slowly drops away over two seconds. So that is two things. One, it's going to cast in an area, it means we can damage, say for example, a bunch of minions in the lane that we're working in. Um, or perhaps a bunch of enemy heroes if they're in a small area. And then the slow is interesting. So the slow immediately tells me that this is something we can cast to help us get away from enemy heroes. Uh, one thing that is always useful when you graduate from playing against bots or something like that as a new player to playing against enemy heroes is knowing how to escape and what your routes out are. And it feels like punish will be something that you throw on the floor, run away from it, and then if enemy heroes walk through it, they get slowed down. So I'll be interested to see how that goes. Condemn is on W. Um, and calls us, my friend. another AoE ability, uh, after one second you pull nearby enemies towards you, stun them for a quarter of a second and then deal 20 damage. So already between those two you can see a little combo. Um, I can pull everyone in with Condemn and then they get stunned, they get damaged and then I can almost cast Punish straight on my feet which does more damage in an area and slows enemies decaying over two seconds. So what if I manage to condemn enemy heroes? I suck them all in, I stun them around me. I then throw down Punish, so they get slowed, and it's harder for them to run away. Nice little combo there already. And, of course, if your team are around you and you're fighting a bunch of enemy heroes, I could see that being very, very useful. Shield Glare. You can just see reflecting the shield in the sunlight. Deals 50 damage. This is a cone, so you can always see the sort of way that it costs. So a cone, think of an ice cream cone, it's going to cast out in that kind of... Area. Deals 50 damage to enemies and causes them to miss their next two basic attacks within four seconds. So you can feel the combo already. Um, you can throw down Condemn, suck things in, stun them. You can then throw down a Punish at your feet so it takes a while for them to get away. And then you can throw down a Shield Glare finally. Um, good against heroes, against minions, this is going to mean that you take less damage. Against heroes it will also mean that you and maybe your team around you can take less damage as well. So quite like that. A uh, bit of damage, but the effect is useful. And finally, we have our, our two level 10 heroics, and then we'll have a look at our um, trait as well. So one heroic is Falling Sword. Cool down of 80 seconds, it's another area of effect. You can leap towards an area while in the air. You can steer the landing location while moving. Interesting. So Sonia, the barbarian, she has an ability where you can just choose an area to jump to. Now, Joanna, you can direct yourself in terms of which way you're going to go. Friend. After two seconds you land, dealing 120 damage to nearby enemies and knocking them into the air. Very cool. So that knock into the air, it's kind of like a mini stun. If they're knocked in the air, it will interrupt whatever abilities that they're casting, which is very useful against some heroes. If you've got a very big, strong, scary or a channeled ability, it's an interrupt. Uh, but it's also a stun in that they're probably not going to be able to attack, I'm guessing, or do anything for those two uh, for the time that they're in the air. And it does substantial damage as well. So that's quite a nice damaging one. 
Um, the other, if you decide to go for it, is Blessed Shield. Now, we have a skill shot, so that means it's got to be targeted, directed. It's not just going to lock on, it's not just in an area or in a cone. You're going to need to try and hit it. So, deal 70 damage and stun the first enemy hit for 2 seconds. Blessed Shield then bounces to 2 nearby enemies, dealing 35 damage and stunning them for 1 second. A nice. Calls us, my friend. This feels like a Captain America style. <laughs> bouncing around and they're stunning everyone. It looks very fun. So how this differs, that this is this is basically just a straightforward work on people in an area. This, if you can aim it and hit it against the hero and, and then stun some other heroes, it, it's not going to have to be targeted in a small area. If it's in a reasonable area, if the hero's in a reasonable area, then you might get a nice little stun, a nice bit of damage on several enemies in an area. In a team fight, that could be quite fun. Let's see how that works when we go into try mode. Iron skin is our trait. So some traits in Heroes of the Storm, it's kind of a, uh, an innate set hero ability. Some of them you can activate, and some of them are just passive. Now, um, this is an activated one. Become unstoppable, meaning that you can't be crowd-controlled or slowed and things like that. Gain a shield that absorbs a whole bunch of damage for four seconds. Now, this does cost mana. It's not free. But calls us, my friend. it is a very, very um, solid trait indeed, because for that mana, you're going to be a very unstoppable tank. Um, nice damage will help you get out of a fight, will help you dive into a fight if you need to start an initiate. So Joanna is very, very tanky. That's our roundup of her abilities. Um, we can probably have a little look at um, her talents and we'll have a look at that before we actually jump into try mode. So initial impressions of Joanna, without even having played her and having had a look at those abilities, she's tanky. Um, she has a nice ability, she's got several crowd controls, and by crowd control, if you're relatively new, I mean sort of things that will control minions, control enemy heroes. In games like Hero of the Storm, those are quite important. So Joanna feels as though she can get into the thick of the action, she should be able to take a lot of damage with that trait there of Iron Skin. She'll then be able to pull heroes in towards her with Condemn. She can then um, stun them as well with Condemn. She can then punish and slow them to make sure that they don't run away from her. And then she can also do various fun stuns and initiate. Falling Sword lets you jump into the action and initiate. Um, Blessed Shield, if you're in the middle of the action, will help you really try and control the enemy team. And of course, a little bit of protection and shield without an iron skin. So, let's have a quick look at talents. Now, if you're new to Heroes of the Storm, talents are effectively a skill tree system. They will let you upgrade your hero, direct your hero to be played in various different play styles um, as you level up from levels 1 to 20. And remember, of course, in Heroes of the Storm, you level up as a team. Um, it is not like other games of this genre where sometimes you level up as an individual. So let's see how we can spec Joanna and what kind of builds we might be able to make with her before we take her into try mode and show off her abilities. Calls us, my friend. We have a Reinforce. Um, using basic abilities, it reduces the next basic attack against you by 50% maximum two sacks. And that is a passive, so you will be... Um, as the more we use abilities, the more defense we will have um, in terms of reducing basic attack damage, whether that's heroes, whether that's minions, it's going to make us even more tanky. So Joanna, we've said, could be quite a tanky character. She could be very good at standing in the middle of the fight, soaking up damage for her team. That would make you even more so. So that's already an idea of one kind of build you could go with Joanna. You could maybe pick talents to make her really, really hard to kill with a lot of good control. Knight takes pawn. Bit of chess, loving it. Condemn deals 80 additional damage to minions and mercenaries and stuns them for 4 seconds. Well, if we have a look at our Condemn, that makes Joanna excellent in lane. That's really going to help her um, farm camps and farm lanes. So, the crusade calls us, my friend. a lot of crusade calling going on here. Um, let's just give Joanna a little stun. Oh dear, there you go. Maybe she'll be quiet for a little bit so we can uh, read her abilities. Um, that will help us farm camps and jungles and also make sure that we can farm nicely in lane. So if you want to kill minions in lane, more minions, more XP for your team. Quite cool. Righteous Smash, Punish, restores Crusade 10 mana per enemy hit. So that's quite cool. Um, if we can hit Punish, then we can regenerate mana. Anything that is sustain like that, like gives you more health, gives you more mana, lets you stay in the lane, lets you stay in the field, out on the battlefield longer. It means that you don't have to go home. And if you play sort of cautiously-ish, it means you can keep grinding away at minions, keep helping your team. Um, it makes you 
um, more efficient for the time that you're actually spending fighting. You don't have to keep returning to base to heal up so often. Regen Master, this is a generic gather regen globes to increase health regen. Every three globes gathers this by four. So that's a good way of making sure that you sustain your health as opposed to right just smash helping you to sustain mana. Level four, amplified healing, simple one. All healing received and all regen by 30%. So again, you can go lots of health rather than damage mitigation. But that's another way of keeping yourself in the field. Calls Raw us, increases punish damage by 50%. Well, very nice indeed. You can make yourself a little bit more damaging. Eternal Retaliation, Condemned, Cooldown, Reduced per Enemy Hit. It re is reduced by 0.75 seconds. It's quite a big reduction. 0.75 seconds for each enemy hit. And it, of course there has a maximum of 10 targets. So with those 10 targets, if I was going to send, so that's 7.5 seconds uh, with Condemned. That feels like quite a substantial reduction to me. Next we've got Eternal... Um, so if you throw that down, we're going to have a lot quicker condemn. We can be throwing that down on the floor a lot more. And again, that will help us probably farm where it comes to getting rid of big groups of minions. Next we have Eternal. Oh, sorry, I missed one. Laws of Hope. Regenerate one health a second. Activate to heal 20% of your max health over four seconds. So increased health regeneration, and then you can just have a quick one-off heal. So again, that's going to help Joanna stay in lane longer. You can see that we've got healing effects and we've already got damage and farming effects that we can build towards. Level 7, basic attacks reduce ability cooldowns by 0.5 seconds. Um, let's just uh, throw out damage and abilities faster. Sins exposed. Sugar Glare marks enemies for 4 seconds the next time any enemy damages them. They take 30 extra damage and the mark is removed. So this is like a debuff you can apply to enemies and you can set up um, your enemies uh, for more damage. So. This will help us if we're farming minions kill them more quickly. If we're in a team fight, it will help our opponents do more damage. Uh, it will help our team do more damage to the enemy team as well. The Crusade marches on. Uh, basic and heroic abilities lower the cooldown of Iron Skin. Crusade calls us, my friend. So whenever we use an ability, we can use Iron Skin more quickly. And don't forget, Iron Skin is our trait that gives us armor. We can make sure that we have more health and take less damage. Finally, Conviction. Conviction increases your movement speed by 25% by one second. Um, so if you're throwing down Condemn, then you can escape more quickly, you can get into the battle more quickly. Movement speed in games like this, or Heroes in the Storm, is handy. Um, particularly if you're a slower character, it might help you get out of trouble or get into trouble more quickly, depending on what you need to do. And if you're a damage dealing or a supporting character, it can help you stay in the right position, making sure that when a fight kicks off, you're not in the wrong place that could you know if, if you're a, a character that can get damaged very easily you don't want to be right in the middle of the fight for example you'll probably die quite fast level 10 remember of course you can pick one of two heroics falling sword we already had a look at um, we know that ability we can see in action and we also have known a blessed shield as well uh, remember that your heroics you can pick an upgrade for whichever heroic you take at level 20 if you want to in traits level 13 burning rage damage 10 nearby enemies this will just help joanna Farm. We can already throw down Condemn and do damage in an area. We've already got um, lots of things that do that. So Burning Rage will just help us farm camps a lot more quickly. Hold your ground. Iron Shield, your trait shield. It has 20% more shield. If it's destroyed by damage, then you get a 4% reduced cold cooldown. That's going to help you keep your shield up more quickly. And you've seen in some of the previous talents, there's that ability too. Subdue so increases punishes slow to 80%, decaying over three seconds. Um, that's a really big slow. If you can suck people in with condemn and stun them and throw down a subdue, if you're in a team fight, if you've got an enemy hero near you and your, your team are with us, you, then it's going to be really hard for your enemies to get away. So Joanna is very, very good at messing up enemy um, human players that you're playing against in team fights, I think, from looking at these abilities. She has a lot of crowd control. Spell Shield, upon taking ability damage, reduce that damage and any further ability damage by 50% for two seconds, but this can only trigger once every 30 seconds. So this, again, will mean that you're taking less damage from enemy spells. Pretty handy. Tanky as well, of course. Level 16, Holy Renewal, every enemy hero affected by Shield Glare heals you for 100. Very nice. So if you're in a fight, remember you can tag, I think, up to four people with Shield Glare. Um, let's just have a quick look. Uh, well, no, it doesn't actually have a limit. It just says um, 
enemies. So if we're, it's, um, it's enemy heroes, so very uh, very unlikely we'd get five enemy heroes, but you know, if we shield glare a hero and it heals us, then in the middle of a big fight, then particularly against enemy heroes, that's going to be very handy for us indeed. Fanaticism, while well, Iron Skin is active, gain 8% movement speed each time you take damage. So when you throw down your shield, if people damage you, you get faster and faster and faster and faster up until 40%. I can see in a team brawling, uh, a sort of team fighting build, that Joanna would love that. So you throw yourself into a fight against enemy heroes, the more, the more they attack you, the quicker you become. Um, or indeed, even if you're fighting against minions, um, the more um, the damage you're taking. And 40% extra movement speed is quite a lot of extra movement speed. So again, I can see in team fights, if Joanna is being built for really helping her team out, tanking into a team fight, then that could be fun. Fanaticism looks very strong. Us, Blessed Hammer. Condemn also creates a hammer that spirals around you, dealing 40 damage to enemies that it hits. Um, that is quite cool. It will help you also, not only doing damage in an area with Condemn, probably going to be a circle or something like that, but you've also got a hammer that's dealing even more damage, just passively um, damaging those minions. Again, that's going to increase your minion and camp farm speed. That's really going to help you clear minions more quickly, and also those mercenaries. Imposing presence, enemies that attack you have their attack speed slowed by 50%. <sighs> Some very strong talents in this tier. So if you're not wanting to chase people down with fanaticism, imposing presence looks very strong. Their attack speed, just for basic attacks, slowed by 50%. So if people use abilities, um, then these are still going to go off. But people who thrive a lot on basic attacks, it's really going to hurt them. So depending on enemy team composition, imposing presence could really keep you alive a lot longer. Finally, level 20, Heaven's Fury, that updates your uh, Falling Sword. One in the air, Holy Bolts ray down on enemies, dealing 25 damage and reduces the cooldown of Falling Sword by two seconds for each enemy hit. So I throw myself up in the air with Falling Sword. If I travel across any enemies and I, these Holy Bolts are doing them damage, the more enemies I hit, the quicker I can use a Falling Sword again. So that sounds pretty fun. I like the sound of that. We'll have to see how it works out. But it's a good way of doing more damage and also decreasing the cooldown of your heroic. Radiating Faith increases Blessed Shield's range by 25%, the distance the shield bounces by 25%, and maximum enemies hit by 2. So your Captain America and your shield is going to bounce on around a lot of people. It might stun even more enemies, and that could be very, very fun indeed. Oh, wow. Um, indestructible. Gain a shield instead of dying. Upon taking fatal damage, gain a shield equal to your maximum health for 5 seconds. Um, this ability has a 120 second cooldown. So in any team fight, you can, if you get killed, and people if they're fighting in a team fight should generally make sure that they kill you last if you're the tank because you're going to be taking most damage, you're not doing loads of damage really. Um, this ability is a 120 second cooldown, um, so it's very slow, two minutes until you actually get it back up again, but coming back from the dead or staying alive for a bit longer, you can get healed up, you can do more damage in the fight, it's going to make you very durable, but the question is, in a team fight, if your opponents are playing well against you, if it's five of you on your team against five of your opposing team's human players, they should probably try and kill you as a tank last. So we'll see how that works, but it's a very fun trait. Storm Shield, shields to all enemy allies. Shields are always lovely. Let's take a look, little look at skins, see what we've got. We've got a Master Skin, and we've got, <laughs> got a Roman Centurion. You're a thoughtful sort. <laughs> We're a thoughtful sort, clearly. Nice little Master Skin there. Let's see doled up in cool armor and then a bit of a roman centurion as well that's a huge oh and a nice mace too <laughs> okay so that is our first little look what we're now going to do is jump on in and see how joanna works out in a bit of a try mode so it's always good if you're new to try out heroes in try mode to start with now as we go in, try mode is just a one lane map. It gives you some bots, it gives you some minions, it gives you a little base, and it means that you can really get a feel for the hero's yes, abilities before you decide try, to spend your hard earned gold or perhaps even real life monies on a hero. So let's have a look at Joanna. We will introduce, as you always, our friend Malfurion, the bot who's yeah. going to be fighting in our struggle. And over here somewhere there is the poor, the ever suffering Arthas being cursed and Coming the Lich King wasn't enough eternal torment. The gods of whatever Warcraft universe there is have very much decided to keep punishing Arthas as he is the person in Shrine Mode who you always have a little beat on when you try and um, of course. learn new heroes in Shrine Mode. 
So I'm going to level us up to level 20. We'll do this twice. And we'll do this twice so we can have a look at the heroics both times over. We'll try a couple of different builds. Now, ones that I can't hugely illustrate well against bots, um, I'll try and do in future episodes where we have a look in actual games as to how Jano is performing. So things that reduce damage and damage mitigation, we'll leave those alone. We'll look at now more of the activated abilities. So basic abilities grant block. Can't really illustrate. Knight takes pawn, more damage, longer stun. I think we can understand what that does. Punish restores 10 enemy mana. Again, I think we're restored. So let's have a look at this longer stun for Knight takes pawn. Talent. Healing, we understand. Raw, increased damage of our punish ability. Again, more damage for the ability, so we'll illustrate that. Eternal retaliation, lowered cooldown for each enemy effective, and then increased health regen, activate to burst heal. Okay, we'll go for retaliation because that'll be quite a visual example. Battle momentum, we can feel probably rather than show. Shield glare. Um, I like that debuff. Okay, let's have a look at that. And then we'll go for Falling Sword. We'll also shout for Blessed Shield. Burning Rage. Again, we'll be able to see that anyway. You'll be able to feel that should you play Joanna. Increase Iron Skin by 20. If it's destroyed by damage, the cooldown is reduced. Punish Slow. We can go for an Uber Slow. Let's go for a Subdue. Choose a talent. And then, Holy Renewal, every hero effect or shield glare heals you. Fanaticism, this was one of the very interesting talents. Um, I Let's try out Fanaticism, I'd like to see what that looks like. Then let's go for the upgraded Heaven's Fury. Holy Bolts rain down on enemies, dealing 165 damage. The first thing I'm actually going to do, weirdly, is illustrate our heroic, because then we can see what Heaven's Fury looks like uh, with the additional. So let's have a look at Falling Sword. I trigger it. I just leap towards an area, but you can see that... Ooh, interesting. Okay, let's re uh, clear cooldowns. Um, one in the air, you can steer the landing location by moving. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I was using my arrow keys, my usual move movement buttons. So, oh, hang on. Okay, or is it the mouse? Let's work this out. The crusade calls. Ah, there we go. So, um, I was right clicking there. You can see that. You have two seconds to just change the location. So if your enemy is trying to run or something, you can actually use Joanna and try and steer where this is going to end up. You can even take it backwards over. But then when Joanna lands, you're going to deal damage um, and knock them in the air as a mini stun. We'll then have a look at the Heaven's Fury version. So there we go. There's no bolts raining down there, but I'm guessing if there were enemies underneath, the holy bolts would rain down and do that damage. Okay, okay, so let's illustrate abilities. Number one, punish, 248 damage, slow enemies by 60%, and we've got a longer slow. So, nice little illustration there. You can see that that is an area of effect, and punish basically is going to damage over this half crescent area, half moon area in front of us. There we go. So, fairly straightforward that. You're just going to do a little melee swing across you in an arc in front of you. Condemn, this is the AoE. Ah, interesting. Now look, there's not, not even a name for Condemn, it's just locked on to Joanna. So you don't even have to move any kind of targeting circle. It's just direct locked onto a radius around Joanna. Um, this will do more damage to minions because we buffed it, and we've also got a lower uh, um, cooldown for each enemy that's affected. Maximum 10 targets, 7.5 second cooldown reduction. So given that the cooldown is 10 seconds, if I hit 10 enemies, which is quite unlikely, unless I'm with minions in a lane, and, or in a team fight, and this is where it becomes interesting. If I hit a lot of minions in the lane, I could be throwing down a condemn very, very quickly. I might run out of mana very fast, but there'll be a lot of AoE I can do there. So, looks simple, nice little effect. We'll see how that works when we get minions going. Shield glare, okay, that, oh, that's a very long range cone. Now look at the range of that. Shield glare is quite long. Nice, bright, sparkling shield, reflecting the light of justice into the eyes of the enemy oppressors. That does damage, um, it's also going to cause missing of attacks. So we'll see how that goes. Since exposed shield glare marks enemies for four seconds next time any ally damages them, they take more damage and the shield is removed. Finally, we'll have a look at iron skin. So there you go, we get a little shield. You okay. can see the little throbbing buff that shows us as being unstoppable. And there's Joanna. Joanna's movement speed feels okay. She's not the fastest, she's not the slowest. Right, let's start illustrating these abilities in a little fight, what we've all been waiting for. Let's toggle minions. And get going. Come on, Malfurion, we have a job to do. So, um, the combo that we were talking about was having a look firstly at how Condemn works. I'm going to put ourselves in the middle, throw down a Condemn, and you can see that um, 
It's lowered by for each enemy affected. There we go. Gonna throw down a little curve there. Gonna throw down a shield glare. You can see that Arthas is blinded and missing abilities. You can see that I sucked in Arthas and he was stunned very briefly. Throwing down another slow, and you can see that Arthas is really running slow. We'll let Arthas back into his base for now. So the thing I want to have a look at is fanaticism. Well Iron Skin is active, which I'm gonna do now, gain movement speed each time that you take damage. I'm taking some damage, and I can feel that my movement speed is actually a little faster there. The interesting thing is that I can't actually see um, the uh, amount of movement speed that I'm gaining for some reason. Let's clear cooldowns and try again. That feels much better. Let's try and take some damage. Okay, so there's no indicator at the moment showing my movement speed, but you can see that because I've taken damage and because uh, I had that shield active, Kajana is actually moving faster. Um, Get eight movement speed just each time you take damage. Is it a permanent increase? It looks as though it's actually a permanent increase. That's very, very interesting. I can only have a maximum of 40% more. And let's go for a heroic ability. Ooh, there we go. And there we go. You can see it was only a very brief knock-up. So Arthas was not really stunned for long with my heroic knock-up on Falling Sword. But what it did do was probably it would have interrupted any ability that it was actually casting. Why not? Okay, there it goes. Throw that down. You can see it condemns cooldown. It's actually vastly reduced how many enemies I actually affected with that. First blood. And there's a first blood. So that is our friend Joanna in one sense. Let's uh, just reset her talents or reset the bases. I just want to take a bit of damage so we can get a feel for her other abilities. She's throwing down a condemn, suck in, throw down a punish, slow down. Throw down a Shield glare as well. Get that damage. So it feels as though uh, now I'm slower again. And then I've, I've speeded up again. So you can see now that Joanna is actually, I think, got a permanent movement speed buff. While I'm skin is active, get eight movement speed each time you take damage. This feels, I don't know if this is permanent, it feels permanent. We might just have to um, reset the level. No, okay, so maybe it's just a temp, um, of course I'm mounted at the moment. Joanna feels a little bit slower here compared to when we were running around with her before, so I think that's the effect of fanaticism. Yes. It does give her quite a substantial movement buff and it feels permanent. We'll compare. Okay, so let's take a second set of abilities now and we can have a look at Joanna's other heroics. So I'm going to go for Righteous Smash, let's see if we can keep our mana up. Um, of course I need to level us all the way up. I'm going to toggle minions, just so we can reset everything from the beginning. Let's get ourselves up to level 20. There we go, so let's make our build. Um, uh, internal retaliation, we've already tried more punish damage, I like the think of that. Sins exposed, we've already tried, let's go for the crusade marches on, see how often we can throw down an skin. Blessed shield we're going to go for, Captain America. Hold your ground. Let's go for a shield build. If the shield's destroyed, we get a better... Actually, maybe we can go for a little pack clearing build. Um, a we'll go for the uh, interesting shield. Every enemy of hero affected by shield blade heals you. Iron skin causes damage taken. We've already tried that. Let's go for imposing presence um, and see how slow it is for everything to attack me. Finally, we'll have a look at radiating space. Longer shield, uh, longer... Um, we'll, just have a look at Blessed Shield to start with. So it's a skill shot. I need to aim it. You can see Captain America. And then we'll toggle minions so I can just have a look at how it works bouncing around. Remember that it's going to deal with damage. The first enemy hit uh, will be stunned for a couple of seconds. So let's clear cooldowns, get that a go. There you go. You can see it's stunned the first for longer, the second for a little bit less. So then go for Radiating Faith, clear cooldowns, throw a shield again. Wow, you can see that we had lots of little stuns there. Um, more enemies were hit, but of course the only the first three were actually stunned. No so, not a huge damage dealing ability, Blessed Shield, but if it stuns a bunch of people in a team fight, it could make the difference. So, I'm going to throw down my Condemn, pull in and stun, throw out with a Punish, throw out a Glaring Light, and I'm going to trigger my Shield to see how this goes. So you can see we've got a nice substantial chunky Shield there, and any time that we throw down ability, you can see that the reduced cooldown of Iron Skin is coming through. So any attacks I do, 
are actually reducing this by a second, um, one and a half second each time that I throw out a basic attack or something. So you can see that at the moment that's 20. Every basic I throw out, this seems to be reducing the cooldown each time. If I throw the mobility, you definitely see that jump down. Just keeping on throwing out attacks, keeping on throwing out abilities, and then I can throw up another shield nice and quickly. So the shield build will certainly mean that you can chain my skin as a shield and certainly be very, very tanky indeed. Um, I've also gone for hold your ground, so the shield is stronger. If the shield is destroyed by damage, the cooldown is also reduced by even more, so I can have an even faster shield up again. So as you can see, at level 20 with all of these abilities, I can tank minions. I'm actually tanking forts and just the one enemy hero quite effectively. Let's go for a Captain America shield to finish things off. A little stun on our first snap to try and finish things off. Leave only ruins. There we go. Oh, Arthas charging up. I love the fact that you get thrown out. <laughs> it's quite a cool animation. Shame that you don't take damage though. So that is our quick little play and learn look at Joanna. In that, we've gone through from a new player perspective, we tried to illustrate some of her abilities and had a look at a few different builds and how the different talents work. So how can we build Joanna? Uh, as a little summary, you can build her quite tanky. You can take things that uh, mitigate damage. You can try and take abilities that mean that in a fight you're either taking less damage from enemy heroes and minions or that your health is regenerating more quickly. You can also go for a build that's quite centered around shields, quicker shield cooldowns so that you can chain it and make sure that you're taking a lot less damage. There's certainly a build that focuses around farming minions more quickly. In Condemn you have a great area of effect. Um, you've got another area of effect with Punish. And you've got various uh, traits uh, that will let you reduce the cooldown of Condemn and your other abilities so that you can farm an area nicely. And there's also that one uh, which uh, Knight takes Pawn gives you loads of extra damage, 480 at level 20 extra damage against minions and mercenaries and stuns them for 4 seconds. That is a lane farming and jungling build. You could certainly put Joanna in a lane and let her farm and farm and farm. She can tank and she could even perhaps jungle. She could go in this area between minions um, and between lanes that you have on all maps. So some maps you have more, some you have less, and farm very nicely in those lanes. So maybe try and use Joanna as a Roma, um, as a jungler. The final build you could probably go for is a very um, team fight centric build. Joanna can get really, really stuck in. She's got great stun, she's got great slows. If your team is very, very good at team fighting or if you want to be right in the thick of the action in a team fight, take things that reduce enemy ability damage and take things that give you more crowd control as well. Increase slows, increase stuns. It feels as though Joanna can also be built to be very, very handy in a team fight. So that is Joanna. Um, thank you for tuning in. Now, we are going to do several play and learns where we actually take Joanna into real games. So do have a look at those on youtube.com forward slash Falcraftcasts. This was streamed on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Falcraftcast. You can find all of these links in the description below. And last but not least, the website is Falcraft.org. We do the Heroes Half Hour like this on a regular basis. We try and enjoy play heroes do it from a new player perspective, learn together and have a whole bunch of fun. There's also Hearthstone videos, a bunch of other Blizzard games, PC games and more. Please do go check it out. Um, and the final thing, you can always find out when we're going to stream and have a chat with us on Twitter at Felcroftcasts. So do tune in, do come and have a look at our other um, videos. We're definitely going to be playing Joanna in a league context, take her into some games and see how she actually performs in a live against players context. So thanks very much for tuning in to Felcroft. I'm having. If you're live on stream, don't go away. If you are on YouTube, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully see you soon. And do come and join us. Like, subscribe or comment. Let us know what you think in the description underneath this video. This is Falcroft and I've been having. Take it easy.